But I was reading in Exodus through the word, and lo and behold, it meant something to me much different. You know, the word in Hebrew says, it is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. Of course, I'd read this years and years over and over. But he was showing me, he filled the workers of the tabernacle with skills and abilities. And I'm going, that's what I need you to do for Elias. Father God, if you could do it in the times of old, you can do it in this situation. So I took supplies, I had my interpreter explain, this is what you do with the zippers, the plastic, and I prayed. And several days later, when he said to come back, this is what he had produced. This was a miracle. And what we did is we organized all the medicine and the dressings and everything else, and we could roll them up and put them in backpacks and hike them into camp regardless of the weather or any other problems. I was so blessed to be able to do this because I had prayed, Lord, I know that I'm doing something for these people. I'm praying for them. I'm praying with them. I'm believing you for their spiritual changes. But can I leave a mark? Can I leave this camp and leave something lasting that's going to bless these people? And it was so cool because I got to leave these and they're being made again and they're being used. And I'll tell you, the nurses were thrilled. They couldn't believe it. It's so cool because I got to witness to about 50 people in front of his little shop when he made it and we went to pick it up. I said, I prayed and God has made you a designer to bless your people so that we can get medical supplies out to them more efficiently. This is what part of our team looks like. You can see it's very international. We work six days a week, get one day off to go to a nice secluded beach. And that's about it. That's what a day's like. It's really overwhelming. If I didn't have the faith I have, I think I'd get very cynical and hardened. But you know, one of the things that Martin Luther said, I've held many things in my hands and I've lost them all. But whatever I have placed in God's hands, that I still possess. So as I leave these places of desperation, if I leave these places where I know that I, I've just met with each person, but each person has been one that Christ died for, I can leave the rest of the problem with him. And you, you all have problems. Know that he's in the midst of them, that you can leave them in his hands. And as I show you these last few minutes of video clips, I want you to think about what is it that God's purpose is for my life, and what does he want me to do for him?
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of all good things. We who live in abundance, with abundant resources, and blessed lives, Father, it all comes from you, and we can thank you for it and enjoy it. But Father God, I pray that you would help us be good stewards of those resources, and that you would speak to each of us as to where you want us to use them, be it in our home, in our workplace, with our friends, Lord, or abroad. I pray for each and every person in this room that your spirit would touch them and speak to them this morning. And I thank you for the opportunity to share what you're doing on the other side of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. We've got a couple of announcements before I uh, let you go. Um, one, don't forget these newsletters that are up here. Uh, also, I know some of you, maybe this uh, hearing Miss Rep speak has maybe grabbed a hold of your heart a little bit and you want to hear more. Well, the good news is, is that on Thursday, for you guys, she's going to be around for high school lunch on Thursday. And she would love to sit down with you. We'll just grab a table and uh, whoever is interested, come over and meet Chris and, uh, and, and be able to ask her questions and hear more about her work and maybe uh, what God might be calling you to do uh, if, you, if God is calling you to do something similarly. So thank you so much, Chris. Also, hey, we got a, uh, one more quick announcement uh, about Market Day, Mick Larson. And I think Chris, Christopher, come on up. Come on, boy. Hurry up. Are y'all doing Krispy Kremes? Uh, Have mercy. <clears throat> Next Thursday and Friday, January 17th and 18th, the Econ class will be hosting the annual market day. Come to the Commons during lunch to enjoy Chick-fil-A, Dick's Burgers, ice cream, and also watch out for donuts in the morning of the 17th and during lunch the 18th. Bring 10 to $15, a large appetite, and all pro proceeds will go to Esperanza. So Esperanza serves entrepreneurs, women, families, and children. Their borrowers typically earn a living wage of 2 to $4 a day and are vulnerable in their state of poverty. Esperanza sees potential in their borrowers and work with those who are underserved, capable, and ready to be equipped with the tools that move them toward hope-filled futures. Please help us finance this amazing organization by supporting Market Day. If you have any questions, please ask either of us, Ms. Boone, or, have you, or any of your friends in the economy class. And we'll be happy to provide you, with, provide you with any information you need. Also be sure to look out for posters and ads posted around the school. Awesome. Thanks, guys. What day is that again? January 17th and 18th. January 17th and 18th. Bring your money. All right. Hey, why don't you stand up? Receive the benediction. May the Lord bless you today. May he keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and to give to you his peace both now and forevermore. Go in peace. Have a great day. God bless you.